Very nice to have you with us. What are you doing in Bangladesh? Um, well, the reason for coming to Bangladesh with my team from Country Roads and the sourcing team is um, to look at some of the most leading factories in the world. Um, I think the Ken Park Group has got an amazing setup. Um, they're one of the best manufacturers in the world. And I can say that because I've spent 10 years on the road looking at sourcing and manufacturing opportunities. And um, Ken Park employs 27,000 people in Bangladesh, and it's a massive credit to them and the 10 production sites they've got. Um, and as part of the CEO of Country Road Group, um, we're trying to strike a strategic partnership with the group, and I'm very much looking forward to developing that. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, why are you in Bangladesh? Um, well, I'm in Bangladesh because Bangladesh is obviously a huge production area for the world. Um, the infrastructure in Bangladesh has improved considerably over the last 10 years. Um, and there's some worldwide leading uh, factories which we want to work with, both from a sustainability and an ethical point of view. Um, I think particularly some of the big suppliers in Bangladesh have done a great job in setting up the factories um, to be sustainable and to make sure that um, they produce the best products in the world for us retailers. Um, how does the good business journey start in Bangladesh? So for us at uh, Wilbur's Holding Group, in 2015 we set up the Good Business Journey um, and we've got seven pillars that we want to work with um, to really bring the Good Business Journey to life for our customers. I'm really pleased to say that we're making really good progress in all of them. Um, the main things in Bangladesh for us to look at is ethical sourcing and sustainability. I'm really pleased to say that Ken Park play a really key part in that and that's why we want to set up a strategic partnership with Ken Park. It's great to hear from you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Adji, um, great to have us here in Bangladesh and on behalf of everyone at the Country Road Group, I'm thrilled to be here with my team, um, not only from Australia but also from over South Africa. Um, just tell me how the Ken Park team has developed in Bangladesh over the last 10 years. Well, uh, let me rewind about another seven years to 1st November 2000 when I came over with five people and uh, set this up in a rented building. <laughs> This facility of standing uh, was built on the 1st of September 2001 and we moved in. We evolved in uh, investing in people, Scott. Uh, the group believes in, the Hydromani group believes in investing in people. Uh, so a great team made this happen. I mean, that's, it's a very simple answer. Fantastic. And just um, 
for the benefit of my team in Australia, just um, talk to me about what you provide for your employees. I mean, I've been blown away today by some of the things you've told me, but just perhaps allude to some of the great things that you're doing for your staff here. Uh, well, for the staff and the, and the workforce altogether, I'll start with the workforce. We pay uh, some of the highest salaries in Bangladesh. That, that way we have managed to retain the workforce. Uh, people stay with us, our attrition rates are pretty low. Great. And for the staff, we develop the talent. We spend a lot of money on HRD. We have trainers coming from all over the world, training people. We send our senior guys to the top universities in the world. And uh, we are not a typical apparel industry. We invest in our people. Uh, so That's yeah. amazing, fantastic. And then just final thing for me, in terms of um, sustainability in retail is a major focus and obviously as part of the WHL group we're looking at um, a good business journey. Can you just tell me a few things about what you're doing in sustainability in the group to, to bring that to life, not only for your people which you've talked about but just in terms of environmental impact? Yeah sure, uh, well as you can see, if you can focus on that, all our factories are LEED Gold certified. That's uh, the, I mean, that's a testimony of our green journey. Uh, it's not only the certification, we just live by it. And it makes good business sense to be sustainable also because it saves money. And that's the little bit for the environment. Uh, so that sums up our uh, green journey and we, we just live it. Fantastic. And just one final thing for my team in Australia. You've run 10 amazing factories here. You've got over 27,000 employees. Why should they come and visit Bangladesh? Okay, we never let our customers down. Uh, that has been our motto. We hate air freights. <laughs> uh, so we make sure that we do things on time and we create amazing products. Brilliant. And why, why do you want to supply Australia? Well, it's a diversification of a market. It makes perfect sense for us. Uh, we are mostly the business is Northern Hemisphere centric. Uh, we love to develop our Southern Hemisphere business. It balances the whole year for us. Fantastic. Well, I look forward to working with you and many congratulations on Thanks, what you've achieved so far. Thank you. Love to see you again. Thank you. one of the biggest factories in the world. Uh, myself and Darren have been here all week in Bangladesh, seen some of the amazing things that's going on in Bangladesh. So for some of you that didn't know, Darren's actually run some factories in the UK a few years ago. Yeah, years um, ago. What's your thoughts, Darren, on what we've seen this week? Well, I think um, I haven't been to Bangladesh for four years. Um, I've been amazed at the advancements, um, and particularly here at Kempark, to focus on innovation. So, you know, I think some people back home may have an impression of Bangladesh of being just about high volume core programs, but I think the focus on innovation, the fact that 40% of their fabrics are now coming through Bangladesh, which improves lead times and logistics. And I think for me, um, I think the more we can get the teams working collaboratively with guys like Ken Park, I think that's the sweet spot. And I think the icing on the cake is probably their focus on sustainability. You know, it really is their, their sort of ethical and social standards, their focus on environmental improvement, probably the best I've seen in the world. So, and what, what, why yeah. did you say that? What, what, this week, what have you learned that perhaps you didn't know before you left Melbourne? I just think that, um, you know, until you're here, you know, Bangladesh, even the guys here will, will say, it's not an easy country to work in. Until you're here and see it for yourself, and you see that the world's leading brands are here, um, not just the big US giants, but you know we've just seen what you know some of the really innovative European brands are doing with, with washing treatments. But they're doing amazing innovation in washing, but they're doing it using less water. So it's a combination of great product innovation, but doing it in a sustainable way. Yeah, fantastic. And any message for our teams back in Melbourne that you want to tell? I, I just think we can, you know, um, really get on board with this. 
Gibraltar scale here. Be clear about the categories you do want to source from somewhere like Bangladesh. And I think the key thing is partnership. You know, that to me is what I think we can really build here. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks, Scott.